Ukraine's 47th Brigade released a video showcasing an M1A1 Abrams SA main battle tank in active field use, outfitted with Contact-1 reactive armor. This upgrade is designed to enhance the tank's defense against modern threats like drones, loitering munitions, and anti-tank missiles, common challenges on the Ukrainian front lines. This specific model, supplied by the United States as part of a delivery of 31 Abrams tanks in September 2023, represents a significant reinforcement of U.S. military aid to Ukraine. Built for intense operations, the M1A1 Abrams is equipped with a 120mm main gun, capable of delivering high-speed, accurate projectiles, along with 7.62mm and 12.7mm machine guns for close tactical support. The tank's advanced protective structure includes Chobham composite armor, bolstered with depleted uranium components for enhanced resistance to direct fire. However, its 63.5-ton weight and top speed of 67 km per hour limit its maneuverability on challenging terrain, which is a critical constraint in Ukraine's wooded and urbanized areas. Despite these defensive capabilities, the M1A1 Abrams tanks provided to Ukraine have faced substantial losses. Approximately half of the delivered units have been destroyed or severely damaged in the conflict, highlighting the vulnerabilities of armored vehicles against modern threats. The Contact-1 reactive armor, seen in the 47th Brigade's video, was added to further enhance the Abrams' defensive capacities. Originating from Soviet designs, Contact-1 operates by triggering a controlled explosion upon impact with a shaped charge projectile, using steel plates around explosive elements to disrupt the penetrative jet, thus reducing its impact power by up to 90% depending on the angle of impact. This armor is particularly effective against heat missiles, widely used by Russian forces. The V-shaped configuration of Contact-1 blocks provides maximum frontal protection, a considerable advantage in urban combat or fixed defensive positions where tanks frequently encounter guided munitions. However, Contact-1 has notable limitations. While effective against shaped charges, it cannot shield the tank from kinetic projectiles, such as APFSDS rounds, which penetrate without detonating the reactive armor. Additionally, against drones and loitering munitions that often bypass the armor to strike from above, Contact-1 proves less effective, exposing vulnerable sections. In multiple incidents, impacts have removed Contact-1 blocks, leaving key areas of the Abrams open to follow up enemy fire. Consequently, Ukrainian forces must employ specific strategies to leverage these tanks' potential while mitigating inherent risks. The armor upgrade adds approximately 1.2 tons to the Abrams' overall weight, slightly impacting mobility. This added load can potentially reduce range and speed, particularly on uneven terrain, which is a critical consideration in Ukraine, where rapid positional changes are essential to evade enemy precision strikes. The release of this video underscores Ukraine's efforts to optimize the usage of Abrams tanks by enhancing their protection, while also highlighting the complex demands of modern warfare, where each piece of equipment undergoes rigorous testing. Although Contact-1 provides additional battlefield defense, it remains only a partial solution to the diverse and sophisticated threats faced in Ukraine today.